Okay, you guys, we should be uh, on and live. Uh, hello, Pokemon Rocks Twelveify. Let me just move my microphone a little bit here. DJ Chris twenty three says Zephyr Sonic, much respect to you. Um, the comment fell. Let me go back and read it. Um, most much respect to you. I'll be watching most of your videos and live streams. Thank you very much. Hello, Luan Kachu. Hello, hiya, Stani92. Hello, Mario467100. Uh, Pliscani04 says, why did you take break? Um, I will get to that in a minute. Alright, we got 62 people watching currently. Let me just um, go to my channel and put that I am streaming. Streaming now. Okay. So yeah, as you guys can see, I am approaching 25,000 subscribers. <clears throat> Hello, Shadow Shad Shad W Luigi. Hello, Gamer eight eight nine four three. Uh, I'm seeing some new faces here today because I've gotten a horde of new subscribers recently. Um, Chalk eleven fifty six says sixty eight. Okay. Uh, hello, Jordan O'Malley. Uh, El El Elizabeth three oh eight. Um, Jordan Navelle says, well done, thank you, um, Michael414-1999, hey Zephyr, what are you doing, or what are you going to be doing today? Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to be buying my new killer gaming desktop machine and giving you guys a bit of an update, although the update will probably come first before I buy, before I buy it. Uh, hello, Max the King Thingy, that's a... Cool and funny name at the same time. Max the King. Whoa, Max the Kingy thingy. Um, Kev, Kevy VH is I'm new. Hello, glad you could make it. Um, the TTK13 says hi. Can you call my name in your stream? There you go. NL502 says streamception. Yeah, I know it's been a while and uh, since I've it's been about a week, actually just over a week since I um about a, like a week and a few days since I had recently post uh, posted an episode. And if you guys have went to my channel and saw the uh, my banner that says about my break, um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Um, Gundam Shock Twelve says, uh, "Hey, hello." Uh, Detrippa says, how are you going to buy this PC? Through my PayPal. <clears throat> uh, Rexley100 says, can you call my name, please, sir? Uh, there you go. Uh, Michael110860 says, call my name, too. There you go. And hey, two Michaels with numbers. Uh, Vaughn43579 says, Zephyr, can you call my name? There you go, guys. Uh, hello, Andreg something, your comment fell, uh, Andreg1426. Uh, Staggy's 1929 says, how much you spending on the PC? Quite a bit. It's between, uh, four to five thousand dollars. Rexley100 says, you're freaking awesome, and you are too, as well as everybody in here and all of my other epic fans. <clears throat> Um, BMHOA says, please continue Pokemon Y2, it's awesome. Uh, I will be doing that as soon as I get my new computer, uh, to me. Uh, 
and the 3DS XL is releasing in the next few days, and I've been keeping up with reviews on it since the UK got theirs early as uh, last month, and then uh, and then some early adapters in the United States got to get theirs early because you know some people get copies early or they get systems early just to review it before it actually releases. Uh, S O G O King, King uses. Why don't you just build one yourself? You would spend a lot less money because I don't have the time to be doing so. I've already fallen so far behind with Pokemon Y2. The English release is almost two months away, and I am still on part seven of Pokemon Y2, and that was mainly because of my custom gaming desktop when it messed up uh, with the motherboard and it had to be fixed. So, um, yeah, that costed me a lot of time. <clears throat> And plus, I knew I needed more performance than what uh, this thing gives me, in which case I'm streaming with it right now, so. L Lalo Great wants as wow, a YouTube video in a YouTube video within a YouTube video. Hello, Ash Ketchup 999 Um, Garu 27 3DS what? 3DS XL. It's, uh, it's a larger version of the original, uh, 3DS. <clears throat> Viva Gamer says, will I upgrade it when your new computer's operating system... No, excuse me, you didn't sentence that right. Will you upgrade your new computer's operating system to Windows 8 when it releases? Yes. Well, maybe. I don't know. I kind of... Uh, I'm not sure about the whole touch screen idea. I mean, it is cool, but I don't know. I'm, the Metro UI, I'm not really sure. I'm sort of mixed about it. Uh, Katsu55 says you should end Pokemon Y2. Well, like I said, I really want to try to get this new computer and dash out the episodes really quick. You know, I want to get them all up for you guys. Um, Raikou fan, Raikou fan 1996 says, when is the next Ash Gray? I'm really enjoying it. I'm not sure, because as soon as I get this new computer, I am going to have to f focus um, all of my attention to Pokemon Y2. Because the English version is less than two months away from releasing, so I'm gonna have to be working on that like crazy. Mihar28 says, I worked so hard to get to this live stream, lol. Um, and yeah, Machinima want to try to work with me with promotion because I get lots of people that tell me I deserve more. Avast, virus My Avast. database has been updated. Avast virus database has been updated. And what's bad is it repeats twice. It says it once, and then the wit. A vast there you go. virus database has been updated. And because the volume mixer, you can hear it saying that. But um, yeah, like I was saying though, um, lots of people have been telling me that I deserve more views and subscribers and likes and stuff than I get right now. And that's what Machinima want to try to help me with because they see a lot of potential in my channel. Um, and Machinima, they 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 really. They really know I'm struggling right now as a channel with views because as a channel with 24,000 subscribers and my average on some of my walkthrough videos isn't even 2k on some videos is really depressing. Um, hello Neon Laser 41 XD. I mean, I still have fun doing what I do and it's all about, you know, sharing the entertainment and fun with you guys. But it's like, but seeing only 2,000 views out of 24,000, I mean, I know I'm 20, whole 24,000 isn't going to watch, but it's like still. Hello, the unknown creeper. And that's the thing. I mean, Google makes changes to these systems that it always in impacts certain channels. It's like they make a change, and it's like your channel's doing great, and then go they make the change, and then bam, you notice a huge impact. <clears throat> um, Wolf's Wolf's a rock. What is my all-time favorite Pokemon? Oshawott because of Samurott. Samurott's awesome. Um, Fire Mage 505 has Final Fantasy 13 3 been confirmed yet? Uh, no, not yet. It's been hinted at it. Square Enix has possibly hinted at it with their whole uh, conference coming up for the 25th anniversary. I think it's the 25th anniversary um, of Final Fantasy that is supposed to be happening. Uh, I believe it's August 31st to the 2nd of September. I think it's it's around there um, and they should be announcing it so it won't be then until we fully know what's gonna be confirmed about that and that's another walkthrough I need to get back to is 13 2 
Now, I'm going to Gary456 as I just noticed you really do need a lot more subscribers. You're awesome. Well, subscribers I'm doing I'm doing very well in. That's what I don't have a problem with. I'm doing really great in subscribers. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter the number that I have. I mean, yeah, it does to, to an extent. I mean, like if I hit 30,000 or 40,000, yeah, that's always special. But it's just the viewership, you know. It's not the dislikes, it's the or the likes, it's the viewership, and of course, yeah, how many people like the video. So, because some channels average out 300, 500 likes for what I've got in subscribers, and yet I only average around 150, which that's still pretty good to me. So, you know... Um, Mario four six seven one hundred one hundred says I like Minecraft. Do you? I don't really play Minecraft. Jordan Amali says you have the best videos. Thank you. Uh, hello, Bandicoot seven twenty. All right, I think we need to get down to business. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we have a hundred people currently watching right now. Um, there's usually not a lot of people for live streams, you know, like you would think a thousand or two thousand people would watch it, but uh, some people don't have great, good connections for one thing. Secondly, YouTube doesn't really send out live streams really well. You have to upload a separate video saying you're streaming now and then you get more viewers for the stream. Night Quilava says, I love your videos and I like your username. Night Quilava? That sounds pretty epic. A24 Cyrus says, Your streams are the best, Zephyr. Thank you very much. Uh, King Avila wants a Zephyr. What's my favorite legendary Pokemon? Latios and Latias. Followed by Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, Jordan Avila, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my 25,000 sub special. Really, I'm at that point where I'm, I'm, I may do a sub special every 10,000 subscribers. I mean, because you look at some channels that, like, have 150,000, 160,000 subscribers, or even 200,000 subscribers, or even more than that, and they get, like, an average of one to 2,000 views per week. That is bad. That is bad. I'm not gonna lie. That is bad. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because, really, out of all of those people, only one to 2,000 people watch... Um, Bandicoot 720, am I going to do the mini games on Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, maybe? Um, Jacob Turner, yes, I like Family Guy and American Dad. I watch them, like, every day. Um, hello, the April 823. Hello, the CalPod 1. Um, but yeah, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get to the update. So, um, you guys, for those of you guys that saw my unboxing video of my HP laptop, my new HP laptop that I did, um, it seemed to be working really great. The sound quality was amazing without wearing the headphones. Um, and I had a problem wearing the headphones in my ears and the constant static noise that would happen during some things. And like, I would get this, this boost in volume in my ears and I'd constantly have to cut to turn it down. And, uh, and I'm like, what in the world's going on? So I called HP and they had me upgrade the BIOS and all this different stuff, and that didn't fix the problem. So they told me that um, that it sounds like it's a, it's an audio defect in the in the headphone jack. So what they had me do is they said I could either send it back into them, you know, for a replacement, basically sending it into them, and they send me another of the same thing, or I can just get a refund. And the refund is only covered within 21 days of purchase. So it wasn't until like four days before the the refund period time had expired that I managed to get the refund and they were hesitant on dishing out the refund they were like well you know are you sure because we can just send you out a replacement one and I'm like nah I, I'm just gonna invest in something much better so um and, and actually one of the people that I spoke with before he transmitted me he said I was being a very smart buyer and I'm like thank you and I'm like, well, that's pretty honest that they say. And I will say this, HP were very quick to give me my refund back into my PayPal account. Um, basically, as soon as I sent it, sent the laptop back to them and they got the tracking information that it was our, that it was on its way back to them, they sent me the refund back and I'm like, that's good. Timely manner, I like that. Because the, originally they told me three to five business days after they received it, but I got the refund within like a day of me shipping it back, so... 
So yeah, so I no longer have the laptop. It is sent back to them. I have my refund, and as well as me getting paid by Machinimas. So I'm going to be um, buying my my uh, my ultimate gaming desktop computer so that I can dish out these videos quicker for you guys. Um, Nyquilava says you were my favorite Pokemon gaming channel. Thank you very much. Um... And yeah, and that also accounts as to why I put the hiatus on my channel status thing, the description on the top. Um, I put that I wouldn't be making videos until like the 22nd because uh, I wanted to allow myself enough time to get paid by Machinima and then buy it, you know, in why RGA says turn on the webcam. Um, let me see, is it plugged in? I'm not sure. Uh, I think it is. Let me see, uh, add camera, let me just, uh, let's see, add camera, wait, oh, there you are, um, okay, it's not coming up, oh, there, there I am, ah, you saw my tea, I'm drinking tea right now. And I need to turn off my stupid autofocus on this thing. One second, guys. Come on, load for me. There, thank you. No right sound. Well, that's if I was using the audio in this, in which case I'd suggest not to, because even in these newer webcams, like this is the Logitech HD Pro C920, the web, the mics are still pretty bad, so I use my blue Yeti spaghetti. All right, autofocus, no autofocus. Mm, make sure. Uh, make myself okay. I think that's good. Just uh, see how it looks right now. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, guys, um, I need to shave too, and I need a haircut. My hair is like, yeah, it's about time I was due for a haircut. Snowlax 1997 says a fact: if you watch Zephyr Sonic, you are awesome. You are awesome as well as well as everybody that watches. Well, you're awesome. Period. Uh, Legendary Lucario says that for the stream isn't laggy when you're not using that laptop. Well, it doesn't seem to be lagging for me, and I'm apparently not paying attention to my stream because I'm like, yeah. Um, I need, well, let me see. Let me pop out. Well, let me see. Um, because I want to try to monitor the stream. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I'm going to use uh, Opera here, so let me open up Opera. Pokefan 15th, will you please finish Final Fantasy 13 too? Well, it's probably not going to be for a while before I do that, because uh, I'm going to have to put all my attention on Y2 whenever I get this new computer, because I am, like, really behind, and that's usually because of my computer not having enough performance for me to get things done faster, you know, like, basically, it's like, you know, I want to be able to live commentate it and stuff and get it out as quickly, quickly as possible, and that's the wrong one, let me copy this link, alright, this way I can keep up with the chat, and yeah, and I would recommend to use uh, Opera, it's a really good browser if the stream lags, it's not lagging for me, but uh, I figure it's an easier way to keep up with the comments. Although, because I'm on a screen region, you guys are gonna see you're gonna see double me, and that's what I kind of don't like. That's the bad thing about screen region. Um, see, now you're seeing triple me. I'm destroying the universe. Oh no. Um, how can I do this? Because I've got the whole screen region <clears throat> covered. 
If you want to be able to pay attention to the comments. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. <clears throat> I'm just going to close out Opera. Let me close that out. Um, let me see. Let me put a screen region on the comments. Alright. Right now, I just need to sort this out. Uh, you guys are going to see exception in a minute, so bear with me. Okay, where are the comments? Oh, there they are. Oh, wait, that's only if I screen... Ah, oh, I see, that wouldn't work. Um, where's the pop out comments thing that displays? It's the only problem. Wait, did YouTube remove that? I think YouTube removed it. Where I could, well, look, let me refresh. Um,. Did they seriously remove the pop-out button feature for the comments? Wow. I guess they felt they needed to. <clears throat> Let me pop this thing back in. Yeah, YouTube doesn't have it anymore. Uh, no, there was a button above the comments thing that had like where you clicked it and the comments would pop out. From the thing, so it's like I can't monitor if I'm in a different window. Plus, you're seeing double me, pretty much. <clears throat> That's the problem. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. You see, because you're not gonna see it if I'm like away from the ch the the comments itself. Um. How can I do this? Okay, let me open back Opera. Yeah, I know a lot about computers. Uh, Viva, Viva Times or Viva Gamers says Tech Time with Zephyr. I'm not like new to XSplit. I know exactly what I have to do and stuff. So, okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do it this way. Trying to move it more over this way. Okay, that just zooms. Okay, there we go. Zoom in more. Uh, might be a little too much, actually. Open back up. Uh, the April late 23 says, I know they removed it and Twitch added it. Um, do I love Pokemon games like me? Yes, I do, Nyquilava. Otherwise, why would I be doing these walkthroughs? Legendary Lucario says, Oh, I feel sick. I ate too much chocolate. Well, I hope you feel better. Uh, anime lover Sakura 101. Hello, happy smiles. That's what I like to see. Happy smiles. Oh wow, spam! What? Yeah, and that's the thing. These spam monitors can sometimes be a little sensitive. And that's why I'd also recommend not to all caps, as well, because that can sometimes be marked as spam. The heated most Zephyr check Skype. I have a link to the pop out chat for this. Let's see. Um. Trying to wait. Where? Oh, Trevman. No, it's not Trevman. You. Oh wait, did you PM me or did you? Wait, what?
Um, okay, I didn't see it. You said you messaged me it. Um, Fire Charizard 55 is gonna stream anything else today? Uh, no. Pretty much what I'm just gonna do is, you know, like I said, the update, which I've already mentioned, which I'll probably mention it again for those of you guys that are new. Um, I, oh, you sent a Skype request. Um... I don't see it. Oh, okay. This may help. Now, unless it's a glitch, I don't know. Well, yeah, here's the chat, but, it, but it's pro probably updated slower. And that's the only problem. So I'll be keeping up here. Uh, try to do what I can. Hopefully it updates just as fast as normally watching the video. Um, okay. So, guys. Like I said, for those of you guys that are new, like I said, my new laptop that I purchased uh, last month from HP had a defect in the audio headphones and I was not going to settle for a, for a replacement and I did it just inside the 21-day window. It was like three to four days within it. So, uh, yeah, I called them, got the RMA number, sent it back next day. I got my uh, my refund back, so that was pretty timely when they originally stated three to five business days after they confirmed that they received it. So once they got their tracking information, I got my refund, and I was happy with that. So The Mario Studios, is my a fast runner? Yeah, I can run pretty fast. Um, Tans or Panzer black screen? Uh, shouldn't be a black screen now. I kind of hate that you're seeing double me. Uh, let me see. Okay, there we go. Zephyr, I added you on Skype. Plus, I can keep uh, keep I can keep a track here in this main window to see how many people are watching. Okay, then I don't need this open. I sent a Skype request to uh, Nyquilava. Yes, your username is cool. Uh, Jacob Turner, do I like Digimon? I used to watch it quite a lot. Alright, so basically, guys, um... What I'm going to be doing, I've I've been interested in two things. I'm going to show you one of the th the systems I was interested in. This was one of them right here, the Zeus Thunder Max from Cyber Power PC. In which case, the computer that I am using is also from Cyber Power PC. But look at this beast. Um, and the bad thing is I can't keep up with the. Ch Let me see if I might can open up another Firefox window. Oh, we don't have to switch tabs. Be this one. Oh, come on. Don't you disrespect me, Fire... Fo oh, okay. It already updated. Okay. Ah, uh, this is my full face. Oh, my camera moved. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, wait. No, that was... Uh, let me see... Move to new... Okay, there we go. Move to new window. And this... Well... Let me copy this thingy again. These things seem to fall off a little bit. 
So yeah, so like I was saying, guys, this is one of the computers I was interested in getting. Um, <clears throat> and so you have an Intel Core i7-3960 Extreme Edition, and you see how much more expensive. And I like these options because, like, you can see, like, plus means how much more additional it would cost you, or how much more and uh, how much less it would cost you. Um, by downgrading. Now the Zeus Thunder Max is uh, fully customized this way so basically this is what I'd be getting for this although I could customize more or customize less in it. Uh, these are some of the pictures of uh, this one. It looks pretty nice on the inside you see all the liquid cooling system in the processor to the fan and the, the graphics card and so forth. I really like that design. Uh, what what do you guys think about it? I want to see what you guys think about it. So it's important, and we already have 823 comments. Uh, Jalen Tube, haha. Okay, you are blocked. Goodbye. It's funny how you think I suck, but what are you doing here? Too bad for you. Uh, yeah, and it would have a nit of a GTX, uh, or, or a nit of a GeForce GTX 690 graphics card, 4 gigs, uh, water cooling, um, it would have an Asus P9X79 motherboard, and see, and I like this, see, you got all these different motherboard options that you can select, they've even got the new one, the AS, a AS Rock X79, a X79 Extreme 11. Um, Snowlax 1997 says how much gigahertz? Uh, it'd be 3.30 gigahertz overclockable up to like 3.9 or 4.0, I think. But you can also push it further if you've got adequate cooling. Uh, Pendragon 44321, it will be resuming pretty soon. Uh, Vaughn 43579 says I gotta go. I'll uh, see ya. I hope you can come back to a future live stream. Um, but on the other hand, like I said, you got uh, other options. It has uh, 16 gigs of memory, a uh, 1,000 watt power supply, and you look at that. Look at that FPS. I mean, wow. And then it's like, look at this. You downgrade to let's say the 7970. Look how much more of a difference drop in FPS. <laughs> But I mean, it already had the GTX 96, uh, the GTX 690 selected anyway. Uh, it's got two terabytes. Well, it originally has the SSD, but I chose the two terabytes when it was up there. Oh wait, now it's just 281. Something must have deselected. Um, Golgary456, am I familiar with the video game series Tahu? It's made by one guy alone and it's fun. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, now this is the other one that I'm looking into. I don't know how many of you guys are Alienware owners. But, uh, this is the other one I'm looking at. Um, product details. Alienware Aurora. Yeah, look at this uh, thing. I, I like the design. Uh, tech specs. You see the different options you can go to. Yeah, uh, like this one, they got two overclocked up to 4.2 gigahertz. <clears throat> um, let me see. Let me try to go to my cart. What? I'm already signed in. My camera turned again. Okay, this should be much better. So yeah, so this is um this is what I'm also looking at. Uh, basically, this is all of the specs they would have for this one. Um, that I've selected uh, a second generation Intel Core i7 3960X 15 meg cache overclocked up to 4.2 uh, Nitava GeForce GTX 694 gig Nitava GDDR5 uh, I need a monitor of course considering with this card it can't run off of HDMI um, so yeah what do you guys think about that?
Uh, Max, the kingy thingy, says I have an Alienware M17 R3 laptop. I'm loving it. Yeah, and I like the lap. I look the look at the laptops too. Um, so I mean, which one do you guys like better? Alienware Macaboos as equals too much for my blood. Uh, Shaw W. Luigi says not Aurora. I mean, how how many of you guys are Alienware Aurora owners? Like, you know, because I need to know like, um, like how well is it run for you? You know, because I've read a lot, some some poor reviews. This had some mixed reviews, and that kind of scares me into buying it. So. Uh, the heated mower, that's also not counting taxes to the total. The, the taxes would account for like a few hundred dollars at the current price. Whereas cyber power, they don't tax you for some odd known, unknown reason. I don't know why. At least not that I know of. I don't think. I mean, when I got this one that I'm using right now, um, which I also made a video selling it, um, it was purchased through a computer shop, so I'm not sure if t any tax was on it or not. In most cases, you do have to pay taxes on it. And yeah, you see what I mean about the comments lagging? It takes like 5, 10, even 20 seconds for the comments to show up once you type. And sometimes refreshing it also helps as well. Alienware failed for me. It fizzled 20 minutes after arrival. I own an Alienware. Um, The first one you showed us, the Alien... King of Elia once says, I'm sorry, Zephyr, I gotta go, I'll be here next time, alright, uh, bye, hope to see you again, and oh man, look at the comments. Um, how about a Mac? I'm a Windows person, I've always used Windows since I was little. Viva Gamer says, I've had bad experiences with Alienware, I recommend your first choice. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm being smart about what I'm doing, because I don't... You know, I don't want to spend this much on a computer just for it to let me down, you know. The April A23 says, the Alienware is the best laptop ever. MHWDJ says, no, no Mac. <clears throat> Alright, for those of you guys that are just joining, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again. Now, the bad thing is, CyberPower doesn't accept PayPal, so I'd have to use my debit card, which is linked to my PayPal. So, um, in which case I'd have to call PayPal and have them temporarily lift the $3,000 limit that they have. Uh, if you do it via PayPal, then it's a uh, $10,000 limit per day. Uh, Hasai full, okay, you are blocked. Uh, Michael110860 is just suggesting I'm a Windows person too. Uh, yeah. Not saying anything about Mac is bad because I've never used a Mac, but I'm just more of a Windows person. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Chili Williams ninety five says I heard Alienware is bad, <clears throat> and it could be since Dell took over. That could be why, because it used to be just Alienware by itself, and then Dell eventually I I think took co ownership or something. I'm not sure. I was now I I wasn't really following when Dell originally bought them out or whatever. But, uh, let me see, let me go back to the one, uh, oh, I closed, oh, wait, it's in another window. So, yeah, so this is the other one that I'm, uh, showing you guys. Looks pretty nice. And plus, I've heard the Alienware uses generally a, a smaller motherboard version. Uh, this is the back of it. And you got like different colors you can choose from. So, but whichever one it wants, whichever one I get is gonna be a beast. It's gonna be just a mad beast. Snowlax nineteen ninety seven says Razor is very good, and trust me, I've been thinking about this for a week. 
and then reading reviews, you know, on different ones, you know, like, oh, f what you have for the experience, like, how, how did Cyber Power work for you, how did Dell work for you, um, and I don't have time to construct my own PC, because, uh, I don't have a lot of time to do that, so... Um, Mean Red Panda says, have you looked at the Razer Blade? It's a pretty sweet laptop. Well, I want to give me a laptop. I do have a laptop that's sitting back here on the side, but, uh, I don't use it because it's, it's several years old, and, uh, it's seen its last days. It's an HP laptop. Uh, an older one, it's a DV4, and it's, uh, see, it's seen its last days. Um, on the CyberCore, they both have 16 gigs of memory, although you can config more, um, with the CyberPower one. Now, the 3960X is the best Intel processor, well, it's the best processor that I know of in general that you can get at the moment. Now, and I've been, you know, going back and forth between different things like, okay, is Ivy Bridge better than the Sandy Bridge, you know, the Sandy Bridge Express to the Ivy Bridge, you know, different things, what works better. I've been doing a lot of research over the last week, so you can understand how much thought I've been giving this. Uh, Gold Gary four five six says, "Get the Zeus Thunder. It looks epic." Now, the good thing about uh, Dell is that they accept PayPal, so I can easily just you know pay for it and you know give for my PayPal. Um, but if I had to do it through CyberPower, because I called them and they don't accept e checks, and that is the problem. So basically, it's like I may be stuck with having to get an Alienware. I mean, yeah, they do accept major credit cards. Like I said, I have a debit card, which is linked to my PayPal. It's a PayPal master debit card. So I wanted to make sure it would go through, you know, okay. I mean, I would have to call them to temporarily lift the limit. Um, okay, Max the Kingy Thingy says, Here's a tip from an Alienware owner. The programs implemented in the safety are one of the most secure machines. Also has its own BIOS to increase performance. I'd say go for what your heart desires. Legendary Lucario says, I hope it isn't a beast that might rip you to pieces, Zephyr. And they have a lot of other choices as well. They've got AMD processor machines. They've got other Intel processor machines. Some that are already customized. And if you want, you can, you know, change different things around. Um, you know. And so, like I said, this is Intel third generation PCs. Uh, you see this black Mamba, or this Fang 3. Oh, almost five grand with its own customized options, although it has an Asus a X79 Rampage uh, motherboard with two um, Liquid GTX 680 graphics cards. In which case, I wouldn't even need the Liquid. I could just go for this 1690. Um, in which case, this is what, well, this one, uh, this one, that's a tall machine, too. Look, look at this one. The back of this. It's got a reservoir in here. You see all this liquid stuff going on. I might get this, but if I do, I'll probably like, I won't go for the liquid cool GTX 680 and just go with the 1690. I'm just showing you guys. I like the look of this one. The top of it, not so much, Um, but I do like the inside of it. Like I said, you got a lot of options here. So what do you guys think about this one? Um, okay, my comments closed. Um, Efran6299 says, yeah, I'm using this one right now. Wait, are you using the Black Mamba? Nightstalker315 says Alienware is still a solid PC. Firestar AT says get Alienware, lol. Uh, MHWDJ says do you make a monitoring thingy? Wow. Uh, Cyber Power Extreme Hydro Cooling Kit 480mm with triple fan. Uh, CPU and GPU liquid cool capable extreme overclocking performance. Um, yeah, I don't need to have the most expensive one out there, but I certainly need a powerhouse because... I also sent the laptop back because I wanted to invest in something stronger that I wouldn't have to worry about upgrading for years. 
Um, so yeah, this one has an Azus Rampage uh, 5, if I'm getting my uh, my Roman numerals correct. Uh, Extreme Intel X79 chipset quad channel. In which case, the new a a AS Rock X79 Extreme 11 would be an additional of uh, $132. Uh, it's got 16 gigs of memory already on it. Free upgrade for major brand. Uh, get the Core Zeus or the Corsair Vengeance. Um, let's see. Oh, and you can. They've even got liquid cooling GTX 690 cards. But look at how much more that would run you. And look at how much more it would. Or look at how much. Oh wow! Just to go to the regular one, it would be an extra 224. Hmm. Let me check my Skypey. Uh, hello, Richard. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's hard to believe that they've went this far, and that's what makes this choice all the more difficult. I mean, I don't want to spend all the money in my PayPal. I mean, I gotta have some of it anyway, you know, for bills. So it's a matter of, um, you know, I mean, just wow. Silver Sand Slash, is Zephyr, are you getting an Alienware? I don't know yet. I mean, some people in this chat have already said that they have a bad experience with Alienware. Um, some are saying it's a really good PC. Uh, SSI Lily says, I buy power. Yeah, and I've heard of them, and I've actually looked at that one recently. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me go to I buy power PC right quick. I like that it is, I like the design, but they don't have, like, See, like, I'll show you. And I've heard that, that I buy Power PC and CyberPower are somewhat similar a little bit. Uh, this is the Chimera uh, 4. Unfortunately, they don't give you a look inside of the PC, which is a bit disappointing. Um, I've seen uh, a look inside of the Alienware Aurora PC. But uh, let me see, desktop, uh, Intel, um... Gamer Paladin. Yeah, this is a Gamer Paladin. Yeah, they don't give you a look. And the bad thing about... Well, okay, this one has a lot of USB peripherals. <clears throat> These guys don't accept PayPal either. And the estimated ship date, they take longer to build their uh, computers. So, you know, you got lots of options. And it's tough. I mean, I need your guys' recommendations. Chili William 95 says, I buy power as expensive. Um, Mecha Boost says, Alienware is too expensive for me. Well, for me, it's not really about being too expensive. It's about whether or not they're reliable. I mean, right now, um, I did read that a lot of new Alienware owners have had blue screen of death errors with the Nitova GTX 680 graphics cards, in which case I selected the 690. But it seems to be a Nitova issue in general, sort of, with the driver updates and stuff. So, I'm honestly not sure. Um, 30,092 Nana says, Black Namba is awesome, and thanks for battling me and Brawl. You're a really good brawler. And that's what I said. I'm looking at the Black Mamba, but wow. Even just to go to the 690 from the two liquid-cooled 680s. I mean, just an additional 200-some dollars. Cabom11 says, my head is going to explode. Mine is going to explode, too, with all these different choices down my throat. Michael110 says, 860 says, Chimera 4 SE. Uh, anime lover Sakura 101 says hi XD. How do you know so much about tech? Well, I've known a lot about him because I've worked with computers. Whoops, I've worked a lot with computers since I was a lot younger, since I was like six or seven, when I had like an old Windows Millennium computer, or well, that was the operating system, but it was old, it was an old white Dell computer that was purchased back in 2000, I believe, and at the time that was like six hundred dollars, and uh, yeah, like ever since then I started really working with them. And uh, I started gaining a lot of knowledge about uh, what I know today. The comments update way too slow. Razor blade, get them all. Um... And yeah, and you see, the, there's also a little bug that I'm surprised YouTube has not fixed that has been lasted like the the entire year. 
Um, the automatic update seems to glitch where it's like the, the new comments will fall, but also some of the previous comments will fall along with it. And I'm like, what the heck? And sometimes it'll just drop down really fast, even with the previous comments. And I'm like, stop! And that's why I hate the automatic updates sometimes when you're, you know... Uh, I mean, Red Panda says, I've seen the Camara 4SE at almost every gaming LAN event. I'm guessing it's good. <sighs> this is just so tough. I guess I'll just have to keep refreshing. Uh, gaming in my brain, shout out. There you go. The Battle Production says, I hated two drives. I mean, that's because you want to buy a reliable computer. That's the one key thing, because nobody wants to, to pay a huge amount of money for a computer, and then it's like, okay, you wait a week or two for it to be built, you get it, and what happens? Blue screen of death errors and all this kind of stuff happens. And then it makes me wonder, did they honestly test this before they shipped it? Bakugan's UVI-1 says, uh, Alienware overheats. Uh, the heated mo, it's alright, I've already got this, uh, shout-out thing. Jacob Turner, no, I don't know the great Clement. And see, some of the previous comments are falling with it, and it makes me think some people are spamming, but you're really not. Um, press the statement, says I own an Alienware X51, it runs nice. Yeah, but I heard it doesn't have much in terms of upgradability, not to mention in terms of selections. Um, this is just so tough. And yeah, you see what I mean? Look at that glitch. Michael 110 says, don't get Alienware. By Cosmos, never heard of them. I've heard of Acers and I've heard of Asus's, but they don't really build desktops. Let me go back to the main thing, because this one is making the new comments lag way too much. Nice Stalker 315 says, yeah, I spent huge amounts of money on a PC and had so much problems with it. Okay, see, here's the thing. See, with this current computer that I have, it was like $800 based upon the current budget that I have. Um, it's I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the specs of the system. For those of you guys that have never seen the specs of this computer, which uh, I do have a buyer but that'll be in a future video. Um, let me just go to my system. See, this is my current specs right now. It's an AMD FX 4100 quad-core processor at 3.60 gigahertz, uh, 4 gigs of RAM. And, uh, yeah, you see the system index rating 4.7, so kind of meh. I mean, and I've checked, you know, like getting an upgraded graphics card, upgraded memory, and it's just, I want to invest in something that I won't have to worry about upgrading for years, thus practically paying for itself and then some over time. But yeah, but you see it's much better with the live comments. Um, we... S-H-E, Dunn, says Compact is a good gaming laptop. Um, I know of Compact, but I've, I haven't, I don't know what they've been up to for all these years. Uh, Hatsune Miku says, can I get a shout out? There you go. Um, Alan Jend is born 99 says have a gateway, but it's old and works great gateway. Yeah, I've heard of gateway uh, I've, I've known them for a long time, but uh, I looked at their FX series systems um, And I've heard a lot of bad reviews about them. They seem like they, they looked really nice I mean they're really nicely designed, but unfortunately it looks like poor performance and uh, poor reliability issues with that uh, press the statement says, am I looking into a desktop or a laptop? Well, see, here's the thing. Laptops tend to overheat a lot because laptops don't have the thing that desktops do, which would be like liquid cooling, um, you know, adequate cooling. Like the new laptop I had, when I streamed, even though it was 30% CPU usage, but the thing would run really warm, really hot across the keyboard, well, over the left half of it, and I'm like, wow. But then again, it could be the i7, which I've heard in laptops generally overheats quicker, even with an open vented ventilation system. Um, and that's what I don't want because I figure that that degrades the life of the laptop. 
So I'd rather get a desktop where I can have faster clock speeds and uh, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and go over this with you guys again for those of you guys that are new and have joined. Um, this is what I am possibly looking at, getting the Alienware Aurora R4. Now, this is just one of three that I'm currently looking at right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the options of this operating system. Uh, home Premium, it's recommended that if you have Ultimate, and it's, it's recommended that you have Ultimate if you have 16 gigs of memory because uh, Home Premium is limited to 16 gigs, I believe. Um, video card, um, I kind of don't like AMDs, um, I mean, I don't know, it's somewhat back and forth, so like, so this is the options for these, um, and I'd rather get something, get my most bang from a buck now, it only was 650 an additional $650 to upgrade to the GTX 690, which is really, like, really good, that's like a, th a third off of the original price if you was to buy it directly, um, a hard drive, it's got... Uh, two terabytes dual hard drive, so it's got two terabyte hard drives that is included in the price. Uh, media reader, I do have, well, an SD card, so that's sort of needed. Uh, $20 additional, so not too bad. Um, since the GTX 690 does not support HDMI, I needed additional monitor because my lap, my TV, I don't know if it would work or not. Um, it's got an RGB port on the back, so I'm not sure if the DVI would work on that, so... Uh, get a monitor, it's included in the price. I went 40 more dollars to go to the 23 inch instead of the 21 and a half. Um, advanced displays, look at how expensive that is. Don't need it, that's for if you like, want 3D displays and stuff like that. Um, sound card, wireless and Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, personalize, alien effects, these are just some things. Uh, keyboard. Basically, no keyboard for 79 less dollars, in which case uh, I have a keyboard, but I'd rather have another one. I kind of don't like this one. Um, the mouse, it's got, which included in the price, so that's good. Uh, audio options, well, I mean, I'd need to get one, so that would be an additional $59.99. Uh, gaming controllers, don't really need any gaming software. I don't really need uh, either. Uh, one-year advanced service plan, I figure kind of needs uh, liquid spilled on, on or unit drops, falls, or other collisions, like electrical surges. Um, don't need office soft welts. Already in well, the starter is already included, I believe. Uh, security software, I've got a, a vast internet security, so I don't need that. Um, guaranteed buyback plan, basically, if you want to purchase a new system, they can buy your, your current one back for like half the price. Um, power protection, well, I need a new surge protector anyway, so figure to do that. Network solutions, I've already got a router from my ISP. Uh, solution station, don't really need it. So I think that's stupid that some companies charge for phone support. Uh, data safe backup, um, don't need that. Printers, I don't need a printer. Well, I mean, I don't normally need a printer because uh, I don't usually print stuff off. So basically, yeah, um, these are the specs that it would include for this. So, not sure what I want to do. And it's got a Blu-ray combo drive, so it can uh, have Blu-rays. Uh, now the Black Mamba, this is what the Black Mamba looks like. And you see it's cool, there's a door on the thing that opens and you can put in... Uh, hard drives or something. See, this one's got a lot of USB peripherals. I really like this one. I kind of don't like the price. That's the only thing that really bugs me about this one. It's got the liquid reservoir, and I hope that they use non-conductive liquid cooling because I've heard, it, I've heard that if things like this leak, that uh, you're going to have a problem. And that's why some people prefer air cooling over liquid cooling, although, of course, if you use a processor like the 3960X, the Sandy Bridge uh, Extreme processors, you need the liquid cooling, which in which case, that's only a small liquid cooling. It's having an additional res uh, reservoir, which if that's really, really needed, I mean, I honestly don't know. And then we got the, uh, let me see, where is the iBuy Power? This is the iBuy Power, well, uh, that's not the, this is another one. 
Um, this is the Chimera 4SE. I like the design. I just hate that you can't see inside of it, which is what I've gotten used to. You can see inside, there's like a window on the side, so you can always keep track of what's going on inside. Like if your motherboard overheats or if something goes wrong, you can immediately tell by looking inside of that window. Whereas computers like this, you have to open just to see. Um, yeah, this is the 4SC V1. I'm not sure how many of you people own this computer or how well it performs. But that's why I'm also reaching out to you guys, the fans, you know, so I can also get your uh, input. And then we got the Zeus Thunder Max computer, which uh, looks like this. So, you know, what do you guys think? Because, yeah, I mean, that's another thing that I have. I mean, I like the liquid cooling. I've got liquid cooling in this right here, but it's only, but it's a small liquid cooling system. Uh, it doesn't have, like, a reservoir or anything. It just has basic standard liquid cooling on the, uh, on the very front of the computer. So it's very tricky. Uh, mean Red Panda, that's 20% off the ex an accessory, not off the system itself. Um, the heated Moses Dell really messed up with Alienware. Zephyr customer support sucks and everything. Uh, TF2 Mass is Black Mamba. Um, the April 8, 23 says I never overheat on my Alienware and I'm on it 24-7. And see, that's the thing. Mixed reviews, you know, saying, oh, it's poor, don't buy it. Others are saying I'm really happy with it. And I'm like, I don't know. Ugh. I mean, the, uh, when I did get a look inside of the Alienware Aurora R4, I mean, they did have, like, you know, um, they had the standard cooling on the processor itself because that's standard for the Sandy Bridge Express processors because um, if you don't have one on there, then it's more than likely going to overheat the processor because it's not going to keep its cool. So, uh, this game says, please, I am begging you not to buy Alienware. They are good but horribly overpriced. You know, like I said, and I looked up the specs of what motherboard is Alienware Aurora use in their R4s. So, I'm honestly not really too sure about what I want to do. Brody's walkthrough says, what, from what I just went over with us, that's say Alienware R4. Uh, press the statement says, yes, Alienwares are overpriced. Um, Yeah. And like I said, I mean, it's the thing about are they good. I mean, I don't typically mind that they're overpriced. It's are they good, you know, because like I said, I, I've I've read the Alienware's here recently. The Aurora R4s have been blue screening of death a lot of people. And, you know, these different fixes and stuff. And then they're working with Nitova because they believe it's a Nitova uh, driver issue that, that only seems to affect certain Nitova cards. So, you know, it's uh, it's very tough. I do like the FX lighting on the Alien Aurora, Aurora, I will say that. <clears throat> Jacob Turner says, what do I like more, Pokemon or Sonic? Pokemon, but I like Sonic too. Um, Shadow Blaze Phoenix says, is the Nidova G4 620 mobile good? Um, I'm not sure, I've never used one. I generally know a lot about these graphics cards, especially new ones that come out. But in terms of Nidova GeForce cards, um, I don't really have experience with low to mid-range cards when it comes to laptops. So, um, but I'd say we could probably go a little bit better. <clears throat> uh, the Battle Production says, "How fast is my internet? 100 meg down to five up." SSI Lily says it's profit. That's why it's overpriced. Well, you know, like I said, but the thing about Dell and Alienware is that at least they accept PayPal directly because uh, CyberPower does not accept e-checks, and I'm not sure if I used my debit card if it would be if it would be like an e-check because if that's the case, then it wouldn't work. I'd have to write a check and mail it to them, and that generally takes longer. MHWDJ says Zephyr Sonic, I will get a good PC no matter what it costs. Well, I do look at the cost, but it's also reliability. That is another thing I look at. If it's not reliable, I'm not going to buy it. 
Uh, see you, TF2 Mast. I hope you're able to join in a future stream. Uh, the Battle Productions, yes, it is Charter Ultra 100. Uh, Super C is Supersonic Rules 101. Uh, Chili William 95 says, go check out Ironside Computers. Yeah, I think I actually checked them out not too long ago, and I also looked at Digital Storm. But Digital Storm seems a bit overpriced. Let's go to Ironside. Well, that's barebone computers. Basically, what that means is they give you a system, and you do all the you put in all the upgrades and stuff uh, with it. You just go to Digital Storm. Yeah, Digital Storm is pretty expensive, but I've heard that they're pretty reliable. Um, yeah, view desktops, uh, like this, gaming desktops. I mean, I want to get the most that I can for my money. Like, 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 you see, okay, like, look at this, Advantum, the most advanced performance PC. Look at this, eight and a half grand, basically. Users that demand the very best. This Cryotech version takes the CPU below negative zero degrees Celsius. Because it's got, like, supreme liquid cooling. Now, I'm not, obviously not getting this, but I'm just going to show you guys... Uh, the details. And it's got three uh, computers in here. I mean, you do get price off. But look at this, though. Unper unparalleled cooling and performance. By chilling the processor below zero degrees Celsius without using a bulky phase change compressor that can make your computer sound like a fridge. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, wow. I do like that they're more in-depth, that they give you an image of inside the computer, and they basically say, okay, this is what this does, and it gives you much more of an understanding about what they do than basically just, okay, seeing inside of a computer, well, how does it work, you know? So, yeah. It's suicide buying an Acer, just letting you know, and I know you won't buy that, I just wanted to let that out, says uh, the heated mo. Uh, I'll see you the April 8, 23. Hope you'll be able to come back in a future stream. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Now, like I said, I'm obviously not getting this. I don't have the money, let alone I don't think I'd be willing to spend that much anyway for that kind of system. Now, like you go to the Hailstorm series and awe-inspiring. Look at all the tubes that are running in here. Kind of worries me. When it comes to liquid cooling, I mean, yeah, like I said, you want to be able to get an in-depth look inside while not having to open it at the same time, um, I'm leaning toward, uh, yeah, like, see, this is the inside of iBuyPower's PC, um, as you can see, they've got the cooling on the processor, uh, right here, um, they don't have any liquid cooling, I don't think, on any of the other components, so, like I said, although the bad thing about this particular computer is that it lacks peripherals, I don't know, because they don't show the back, well, you can, you can kind of get a glimpse of the back, but I'm not sure if they have more USB peripherals on the back. I would think that they do. Um, but, um, yeah. Why does this have to be so tough, guys? Mr. Tutorial says, don't, Maker says, don't buy a pre-built computer. Um, Max the Kingy thingy says, I'm back. Alienware doesn't have that many driver probs, and the driver, the Dell driver support is good. It's a reliable machine and something... And the command center FX is good. My one-year-old M17X is still TOP still. Well, it's not with the laptops. It's with the desktops. The uh, Aurora R4s. Mr. Cool Guy 7010, give me a shout-out. There you go. Um, I would XX Patriotic Gamer XX, but I don't have the time to do that. I mean, I've got all the free time in the world, but I've got walkthroughs to make. So I don't have a lot of time to build. And especially what I need to get done, I don't have a lot of time to get it done. Um, the Sparrow 123 says, what was that $8,000, uh, computer? That was, like, the, it's, like, the best one that they have. Um, well, I closed it out. Let me see if I can get it back open. Uh, the Advantum, and, like, you got Enthusiast Dream Machines, uh, Machine Syndicate. Like, you got this view gallery, look inside of this, look at that reservoir and all the tubes going in. It's crazy. But I've heard that there that Digital Store makes really reliable computers and really top of the line products when it comes to the components. But this is the one, the most advanced performance PC, like you see H20, H20, H20. I'm assuming that's for water cooling. 
Um, but this one, Cryotech, I mean, wow, three Nidava GTX 682 gig cards, pretty much. And users that demand the very best, this Cryotech version takes the CPU below negative zero degrees Celsius. And you get an in-depth look, look at all that tubing. It makes me worried if it leaks. But I mean, you know, what do you guys think, though? Over the generation, give me a shout-out, please. There you go. Uh, Chili William 95 yes, I will be unboxing my computer, giving you an in-depth look inside of it and stuff. Um, B. Yob, your mother says, give me a shout-out, please. There you go. Uh, welcome back, King of Elia 1. Yes, remember, I'm not out to get a laptop. I'm just, I'm just out to get a desktop. I mean, I do want to get a laptop... But I think I'm just going to get a laptop if whenever I do in the future, just for everyday purposes. I'm not going to get it for gaming. I mean, I could game on it, yeah, but I'm not going to want to get, like, the most expensive laptop you can get. I, I can just get a mid-priced um, laptop and enjoy gaming on that on the go or something. But desktop, I need the extra performance, you know, for the gigahertz, so... Michael, 110860 uh, to just get one. My headache's going to explode. I know, my head feels like it's going to explode because I'm also trying to reach out to you guys thinking, okay, well, which one do you think would be better for me to get? And for some of you guys that are thinking, why don't you just get one that's like $1,500, $2,000? Well, I mean, I could, but then again, you're not getting something that would you could invest in that would pay back for itself, you know, over the course of a few years because of, you know, all the upgrade upgrades you'd have to do to it. Oh, hello. There's my sweet girlfriend that just commented. Hello, my sweet lovey dove. Um. Oh, and I loved you. Um, Sorehand, 2001. And just for you guys know, that was from my girlfriend. Uh, well, I do Skylanders. I'm not sure. Well, I've never even heard of Skylanders, actually. My mind was a blank there when you said that. Uh, Rick Sasson says, how rare is it to leak? I have no idea, but I did see a video not too long ago about somebody that purchased the Cooler Master uh, box, and it showed a video of it leaking, but fortunately it was non-conductive liquid that was in the cooling system, because apparently if you use non-conductive liquid, it's not as destructive as uh, conductive, because if it's conductive and it spills, um, it's probably going to fry like everything, and it could even start a fire. Yeah, EFX Vongola Decimio also makes a good point. The highest price one is not always the best. And that's the thing. You want to look at different things. Reliability, um, you know, how high are the performance and upgrades uh, in the, the current computer. And that's what I also look at. Even if it's $5,000 and if it's a really, really good system, if it's not reliable, I'm not interested. So... JZT451 says, what's my price range? Between $3,500 to $4,500. Mm. Ah. <sighs> because, see, I mean, yeah, I mean, some people would say that's too much money to spend, but it can you can invest in it and save over time. Sure, there's going to be new upgrades next year, but why would you need them? You'd already have something really, really good now, and you don't have to worry about it for several more years. Uh, Gabrielle Perez's conductive liquid will cause shortcuts of the components. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's another thing that they don't tell you is is the con is the fluid or uh, is the liquid conductive that's in the cooling system. If it's not, then sort of no worries. But if it's conductive, then that sort of makes me worry of buying it. Um, and that's why I'm thinking that maybe just liquid cooling on the processor is just what I need, just the only thing that I need. I mean, well, it's standard if you get the extreme, uh, processor, the Sandy Bridge, uh, E, or Sandy Bridge Express, uh, processors, which is either the 39K or the 3960X. PSN got hacked again. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, lately there's been lots of sites and stuff that have been getting hacked. Nidava gets hacked, uh, PSN hacked, you know, it's crazy. Um, Bakugan Suvai wants us, how can you tell if your computer's reliable? 
one thing. And it's really dependent on the motherboard, too. I mean, it may not be the chassis in general. It can be the motherboard because the motherboard is the main source of all the components. But uh, you have to look at, okay, what is what are the temperatures that all of your components are outputting? Um, you know, does it give you blue screen of deaths? You know, and if so, you got to look at the root causes and, uh, you know, different things that goes into that. Because I've heard of people that, okay, they buy the system, they get it, and it doesn't work from day one. And yet, they state that they tested it before they shipped out the system. And that's, that's bad. How can they test it and then send it out and then it doesn't work now? And, or, or you get lots of errors. I think all they do is they probably just strain test the components. Like they do some external source to test the components and then they say, Okay, it's ready to go. Not even going to power it on or nothing. Solar Nexus 47 says, I have the Black Mamba. It's all right, but in all honesty, I'd prefer the Alienware Aurora R4. It's tough, guys. It is very tough. Oh, man. What to do? What to do? The Zeus Thunder Max seems really good. I mean, it doesn't seem to be, like, really, uh... It doesn't seem to be really, um, cheap, or it doesn't seem to be too much. I mean, it seems to be just right. I mean, it does have some tubings. I mean, you see the it's got tubings for the processor that inputs uh, through the top, the fans right here, uh, that expels the heat, and, it, and it's expelled at the top. Whereas the one on the Alienware Aurora R4 goes to the side right in here and then goes down and out or uh, out the back. So, that is very tough, though. I didn't have too much of a good experience with my first one, with this one right here. Um, which I'm, I'm not sure of the model. It's an AMD processor. I will say that but uh, The motherboard failed after a few months. Um, it's an it's a gigabyte 970 a-d3 motherboard um, So I don't know how reliable those motherboards are but it failed after a few months And I don't know if it was overclocking that did it But um, but that's what they told me which is what I thought a week after because I'm like well if the BIOS won't boot up or anything Then it's probably a motherboard failure and I was right um, well, the heated most is efforts pronounced NVIDIA. Well, I sometimes say NIDAVA, others pronounce it NVIDIA, others even say NVIDIA or whatever. Um, Max the Kingy thingy says Sandy Bridge overclock CPUs with SLI 680s tend to function well together, and instead of getting one 690, you can have so many extra dedicated gigabytes, choose whatever you feel, and enjoy in the long run. Well, the thing is with the Alienware Aurora R4s, they removed the 680 from the list because of the all the blue screen of death errors with those that combine the R4 with the 680s. Um, and apparently there is a couple of people with the 690s that are also running into the blue screen of death errors. And uh, Nidava, or N NVIDIA, as some people would want to pronounce it, have come up with a solution, supposedly, um, either in a BIOS update that Alienware is going to release or a driver update. So, you know, it's difficult. Because I, I just want, I, I just would hate to have to spend so much money and then get it and there's problems. Day one. And I'm like, oh great, now I have to waste more time getting on the phone, calling them, and then pff, sometimes dealing with crappy support. And it's like, okay, well you can either send it back, we'll send you a new one or something and that's just gonna strain more time um, I did check out others from you know like Dell directly and HP directly that's not really well it's not like custom built through like you know cyber power in them but they didn't seem to have options I liked like in terms of graphics card and stuff they, they just didn't seem to have the options that I really look for especially Dell I mean, their most powerful one, I mean, the best you can do is a 3770K, which would, well, I mean, it would benefit, but the graphics card options I don't like, as I said. So. Gamer Extreme XE on CyberPyrus is Chili William 95 uh, Michael110860, shout out, please. There you go. Um, Thal99 says, how much gigabyte does it come with video and game card? Um, for the ones that I showed you guys, it has 16 gigs of memory already set on the thing, so on the computer. So, it has 16 gigs of memory. Um, the video card, they would have a NIT of a GTX 690 graphics card, 4 gigs. Uh, Bakugan Savani once says, HP stinks, my parents have trouble on that brand. Yeah, and like I said, I had a problem with 
the laptop when it came with that defect on the audio uh, headphone jack. But, you know, not every company's perfect. I mean, they are going to have defects and, you know, not every computer that's built is going to be perfect. I mean, it could also run into problems. Oh, man. Really, in terms of what, um... Oh, uh, yeah, there's my girlfriend again. Hello, Alina. I love you. Um, and she's very wonderful, by the way. I love her so very much. So, so, yeah, as I was saying, though, I mean, I'm leaning toward the Black Mamba or the, um, the Zeus Thunder Max. I mean, I'm looking at, like, the Black Mamba options, and I'm looking at, okay, what can be downgraded to, um, you know... It's like, okay, you got, it's got the Asus Rampage, which I heard is a really good motherboard. Um, it's just the price. I mean, just for the liquid cooling 680, I mean, you get a cheaper price for the, on the 690 just, uh, just through Alienware, and I don't know why that is. Because it was only a 650 upgrade for the... Um, to go to the 690, it was only $650, but on this one, it's like... This is a really tough choice, guys, and I definitely could not do the liquid cooling 690. Um, and even this, it's like, oh my god. Oh, man. Okay, what can I downgrade? Well, and the bad thing is this wouldn't come with a monitor, and that's the problem. Oh, man. Hmm... Wow, look at that. The GTX 580 liquid cooling minus $30. Wow. And then you got to mention the shipping and the stuff. I mean, it's got like SSDs, um, but I'd figure a regular, uh, okay, we could go with a two terabyte hard drive. I think the Black Mamba would be too expensive for my taste. And uh, I just... I don't think that the, I, I, uh, I don't know, I just think there's too many liquid stuff to really mess around with in this thing, and so that's why I just think that the Zeus Thunder Max would be my best bet to go with. Hmm. This is really tough, guys. Donwater97 says, how much did it cost you, bro? Well, I haven't paid for it yet. That's the thing I'm looking at. This, oh, man. Well, I mean, like, the motherboard... Now, that would definitely be good. I mean, I could stick with the Rampage. Uh, 16 gigs of memory. Seeing what we can do to lower that price a little bit. Um, I mean, it's got two liquid cooling 680s, but, I mean, I don't know if I'd rather do that or the 690. Um, okay, no. Oh, it's okay. It's got a second card, so I don't have to have a second card. Um, okay, mine is 680. All right, that's a lot better. Okay. That is a lot better. I don't I don't necessarily need to have two two um I don't need to have necessarily two graphics cards. I can settle with one and if I want to eventually upgrade to a second one, I can do that, so standard coolant um With anti vibration fan mounts. Um, just going through here. Okay, free upgrade Courser Vengeance. Yeah, and dual graphic card computers generally cost more.
Uh, it's got a 1000 watt cooler si uh, master silent pro gold at 80 plus power supply so that's good it's got a really good power supply with it uh, two terabyte single drive um, oh it's got two of them okay let's see um hard drive cooling fan I don't need a hard drive cooling fan um, I don't think the hard drive gets too that hot um, external hard drive. I don't need an external drive. It would have enough peripherals that I would need. LG, uh, Blu-ray, combo drive. Okay, looks good. Free upgrade. And that's good. You know, you gotta take advantage of these specials, too. You get free upgrades on things. Okay, that one's a free upgrade, so we'll do it that way. Alright, let's see. 3D video, vision glasses. I don't need any of those. If I ever wanted to do that, I may eventually, but not right now. I just want to focus on getting a really powerful computer. So let me see. Widescreen monitor. And I kind of don't like their choices for monitors. Um, yeah, and that's quite expensive. Um, eh. Oh, that one doesn't have a photo. Alright, I like that one. Alright, I may go with that one. Alright. So we got a monitor. Okay, no second monitor, no third monitor. Uh, speakers, I do need some speakers considering... I've always been running it off of my HDMI with uh, the speakers, and I can't see your comments, guys, because I'm focusing on what options that I want to get with it. Um, hmm. Let's go with this one, the Logitech Z-501 5.1 surround speakers plus subwoofer, subwoofer system. Uh, well... I think I'll stick with this. All right. Um, go with the extra Intel card because it's better to uh, to do that. Okay, keyboard. Like I said, I'm not set. Well, okay. Let me see what this one looks like. Enlarge, and I like that they give a pictures on a lot of. Th Ooh, I like that one. Well, let me see what these other ones are. Ooh, I like the uh, I like the bat backlit one. What's this one? Mechanical. <sighs> nah, I don't want that. I, th I like the Marauder Starcraft too. Let me just see these. Um, I think yeah, I think I like the Marauder. So not too expensive. Uh, see mouse. I think I may stick with this mouse. Um, let me just go down here. Okay, I'm gonna just take a look at the picture. Oh wow! I oh that looks awesome. All right, I'll stick with that one. Uh, mouse pad. Uh, do kind of need a mouse pad. Um, <laughs> let me just check this one. Um, Vespula. I think I'll get this one. Uh, gaming gear. I don't need a gaming gear. I'm quite fine right now. Um, wireless. Go with the uh, this one. Okay, external wireless network card. I don't need one. Uh, wireless access point. I've already got a router, so I don't need one. Um, Bluetooth. Don't need a... Uh, I don't think I'll ever need a Bluetooth. Um, well, I mean, it's $12, so I'll get it just in case. Okay, so the internal driver, uh, super, or media card reader. Um, Blue's 
is my favorite color, but on this, I think beige would be best. Okay, video camera, I don't need one. Headset, I don't need one. Uh, cable, I don't need one either. Um, I'm pretty good with that. Power protection. Um, I do have a... Well, I can, I can just get a new uh, uh, surge protector. Because I kind of do need a new one. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, this... Wait, uh, what? Well, I'm not sure what that. I'll just, I'm, wait, card and driver. I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'll get it just in case. Um, USB port. Um, I don't need one. It's got a lot of peripherals. Um, wait, built-in USB. Oh, wait, internal. Oh, okay, I see. All right, I definitely need I need a hub for USB 3.0 ports. I I would think it already has them. Let me check the back. Oh, they don't give you a view of the back. I thought it did. All right, I'll go with the hub. Uh, USB port. I don't need. Okay, so the last options, uh, home premium, um, yeah, as you see, 32-bit memory limitations with 4 gigs, although most systems are 64-bit anyway, uh, Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate 64-bit is recommended for system configurations with 16 gigs of memory or higher, so we'll go with the Ultimate, uh, version, stick with the 64, um, media control remote, I don't need one, um, office suite, don't need one, games, don't need any, ultra care option, um, And plus the thing the thing about this is that I can get a coupon. So don't forget guys, I can get a percent I can get like I think it's 5% off, I think. Okay, so we'll go with professional wiring and ultra enhanced package solution. Uh standard 3 year warranty. Um let me see shipping 3 business days. Hmm. Okay, I think ship I think we'll have it rushed ready to ship in 3 business days. Um, so, let me just, uh, I'll be right back, guys, so give me one moment. My bad, Mike was muted. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, I wanted to just ask you guys, for those of you guys that have liquid cooling, like with the reservoirs and stuff, um, like, how do you have to change those, like, every so often? That's what I want to know. Because if not, then I may just settle with the Zeus Thunder Max. Because that's the thing, you know, with that reservoir, you always got to figure if there's a leak, you're going to have problems.
Just want to hear from all the liquid GP or uh, the liquid uh, owners that have reservoirs in their system. Because that's another thing I'm also factoring in. Because I don't want it to leak, and that would be the really bad problem. Uh, Kate Deadness says you have to change it every month or so. Now, does that only go for the cooling in the reservoir, or does that also factor in the ones that are just tubes only? Like the ones that you see on the processor. Google it and check some forums. I uh, googled it up and it seems like yes. And actually, I mean, I like the Zeus Thunder Max because you get a, a clear, in-depth look at the inside of the of the computer, at least. I mean, you get a, somewhat of a glimpse with the Black Mamba, but... Uh, Solar Nexus 47, so that changed mine every, every every second month. But yeah, but does that just factor in with the with the tubes, or does that also factor in with the reservoir? You know, for those that run off of a reservoir. Because if because because uh, if not, then I may just settle for the tubing. Kate Deadness is something I don't know. My friend has one, and all the all he said was you got to change it every month. Nothing specific. Uh, Hello, Dragon Star One Oh One. Yeah, as you can see, the comments lag. So when you type in your comment and hit post, it takes some time before it actually falls. As you guys can see on my end, because you can see two of me, and you can see the screen. Just the reservoir as far as I know. Okay. Okay. Well, I think what I may do then is I am think I'm going to settle for the Zeus Thunder Max. Then, uh, let me just, yeah, as you see, well, there is l a little tube of, I mean, like, see, like a computer like this. Uh, you guys can clearly see that there are some tubings going around here. Um, so, I mean, you know. I just want to be sure before I get it that I know what I'm doing. I see five of you. Well, there should only be two of me. In which case, it looks like both screens, both the one right there and the one on the bottom right there is delayed. So, hello, Mega Mew 485. I'm going to try to zoom in right here since I got this uh, thing right here. Okay. You see like you got these little tubings? See right here? Okay, now that's from the processor's uh, point. And then you got these other points. Um, it doesn't look like it has an actual reservoir though. So, you know... Looks like it's got some that goes from the processor into the fan here. Um, looks like into the graphics card, maybe? Um, and also out down in here. And I like the name, Zeus Thunder. That, that says a lot. Ah, hammer. Almost like four. Ask a plumber, lol. This is NBC 483. Um, Solar Nexus 47 says, When the PC comes, the guide given with the package tells you tells you the specific details on changing the tube slash reservoirs. It changes on the type of PC. And actually, the video that I saw that showed the, the leak was it was actually around the processor where it was hooked up to the processor and you could see the little driplets of water coming down when it was cut on. Uh, Z Game Master Aces, could you give me a shout out? Sure, there you go. 
Arcade Deadness says, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have to change water if there isn't a reservoir. And that's like I said, it doesn't look like on this one... I mean, I can see tubings where it looks like there's air or water that goes in. Like, it looks like on the... Uh, right there near the processor, you see that it looks like maybe water goes in there and then air comes out the uh, the second part or the vapors or something goes into the tube and then in, out the fan. And then... Uh, uh, I'm not sure where the bottom parts... Oh, wait, is that... Is that like a little mini reservoir? Like, right there? I'm not sure, but I really like the design of this one right here. Michael110860 says, am I going to buy the Zeus? I might. Uh, can I try one with different colors? Uh, yeah, they have like three different colors. Um, white color and black color. This is the gun metal color, I think. Well, it was shown as that. This is the black one. And then this is the white one. Oh, wait, did it even show it in the gunmetal color? Okay, there it is. There, Here's the gunmetal color. <clears throat> Kicking fl fluffy bobs is that computer could kick other, other computers' butt. Uh, JZT451 says some cooling system some cooling systems you can't change the liquid. Yeah, see, like I said, that's what I want to know. Is like like I said, I look in here and I don't see it looks like there's little mini reservoirs on the picture. Um Let me go back inside of it. Yeah, okay, you see here's a better look. Okay, you see this little mini tubing that's around the second uh PCI slot or it's like right up on the first part you see there's like two tubings one goes in there and then you see another tubing that looks like a little tiny reservoir uh slide but i'm not sure if those are just like non-changeable but those are just ones you don't have to worry about um looks like there's other tubings that go around so yeah so that's what i'm looking at though mr cool guy 7010 says you rock thank you you guys rock too I mean, because, I mean, really, I mean, as long as the processor is nice and cooled with the, like I said, the cooler that comes with it that cools the processor, then it's like, like I said, I don't need anything else because I can just use air cooling. Can I put my mouse over it? Um, well, yeah, as you see, I am, but it's not giving you like a detailed description or anything. Um, let me just go down on the list here. Let me just zoom out a little. Um, let's see. Okay, this also has extreme overclocking uh, selected. Basically, they do it. Um, it does have the hydro liquid cooling 360 millimeter with triple fan. So basically, both have the same, but this one seems to have smaller re reservoirs. So I don't know if that makes any difference or not. Um, Solar Nexus 47 says the reservoir is there, but it's really small. You don't have to worry about them. It's only if there's a main reservoir you need to change it. Ah. I mean, it helps keep your system cooler, so basically it's like it stays a lot quieter under load. Um. Yeah, so basically this is what it has. Uh, the 360 millimeter, as you see in this uh, photo of it. So there is a reservoir here, but I mean, it's not in a tube. I mean, it is in a standard system, as you guys see here on this picture. That's what the liquid cooler inside of it looks like. Miss LP's Lever 1233, my favorite Pokemon is Oshawa, just because of Samurott. In which case, I have a Samurott. Uh, so most of you guys have already seen it, but there you go. I've, uh, yeah, liquid cooling systems like these are a lot 
you have to consume a lot more time into keeping your eye on them, which is also another reason why I like the Zeus Thunder Max. You've got an inside look at what's going on, so if there's a leak, you'll be able to see just by looking in that window. The Black Mamba doesn't seem to have too big of a window. It doesn't seem to have much room to see inside. Um, 620 Iron Wolf, you didn't spell Reservoir right, but basically what it is, it's additional water cooling. It helps keep the components uh, cooler under load. So because it's like usually when you do things like render a video or you put uh, a lot of like gaming performance onto the computer, it usually takes a lot out of it. And so what the cooling system is there for is to help pump, you know, water and stuff into the, into the components or, you know, into the things to help keep the components cool. I mean, it doesn't go inside the component itself. It just helps dis dissipate the heat that's submitted from the components, and it helps keep things cooler. Um, so, I, yeah, I think I'm going to get the, the Zeus Thunder Max. Um, let me see here. I need to go back to the Zeus. Oh, wait. Let me go back here. Okay, so the Hydro Cooling Kit, okay. Um, standard coolants, we're just going to go with additional liquid reservoir. Now, those are definitely, as you see, um, yeah, that, that's what it would look like inside the system. Look at how cool that is. It's just a matter of if it leaks, and look at how much water that is. Well, it's not just water. It's uh, also made of different stuff besides water, but man, look at that. A 1500 watt power supply, man. Talk about tough power. Mr. Cool Guy 7010, I'm not sure if you've asked me that before in a previous stream, but yes, Pokey Cinema is on my Skype. I don't know him personally, but I do have him on my Skype and we do talk. So. <clears throat> but I wish you'd quit asking me that. I know somebody asked me that very same question, and I'm not sure if it was you. So if it was you, please stop asking me that question. <clears throat> so yeah, so the additional liquid reservoir, now that, you probably have to keep your eye on. Um, but honestly, I mean, I don't think I really need it. Um, I mean, basically, it's just an extra tube to help, you know... But it's just, look at that. Look at how much liquid that is. And you gotta think, man, that is loud. Um, my Kodu CFC Zephyr, what color are you getting? I think black or gray is cooler. Um, yeah, probably either the, the gunmetal color or the black color. It's just a matter of whether or not I want to put extra stuff like an additional reservoir into the computer because then that's just more that you have to watch. Uh, Solar Nexus 47 says the reservoir is still the same size. An extra tube won't affect anything, just helps vent the water around. What about that box? You saw that, that, you saw that little box with the uh, where it looks like the water and stuff is stored. Um, I mean, I would think, wouldn't it have to change that every so often? Bakugan's via once as I got Pokey Cinema on my Twitter feed, both his and your commentary make me laugh my head off. Well, thank you very much. But this is the computer that I'm using right now. And as you see, there is liquid cooling in there, but I don't think it has a reservoir. It just has standard cooling on the uh, thing, like no tubes or nothing. Uh, just like, you know, just a very small section down here. But it's an AMD uh, FX processor that was also built by CyberPower. It's just whether or not I want to have, you know... I mean, to so those of you guys that have had custom old computers that have that in there, I mean, how does it run for you? Does it run quiet? The how, you know. Because I looked inside the Alienware system, and it doesn't have all of the liquid cooling. It just has it on the processor. 
because like I said, Sandy Bridge Extreme processors have to be cooled and so therefore have to run the standard Intel cooling kit solution. It shows reservoirs that somewhat, uh, you know, Uh, Legendary Lucario, yes, you can pee me about your laptop uh, problem with it. I generally can fix a lot of a lot of computers. Solar Nexus 47, it depends on the amount of water being stored with the water source. Then manual you get with the PC will tell you exactly what you have to do. It varies depending on the PC. <sighs> the thing is, do I get the additional reservoir? I mean, I don't, well... I don't, well, I don't really need it. I mean, that is just extra stuff, so I don't think I'm going to get get this one then. Um, it does look really cool when you look at it. I mean, look at that. Look at this big, long tube with water in it. It looks really cool, but, but honestly, I don't, I don't really need it, you know. And if I do, I can probably have it installed at some point later on. So, none for that. Um, let's see. Let's go with Asus Rampage. Um... Pre-upgrade, Horser Vengeance memory. Okay, it's got the Nova GeForce GTX 690. Um, don't need a second video card. I am good with that. Third video card, uh, power supply. It's got a 1,000 watt gold power supply, so that's good. Really reliable power supply. Uh, the SSDs, okay, I see the 120 gig. What about the second? Okay, this one has a two terabyte hard drive. Let me see, it's got what, 120 gigs? Um, well, it's got the standard 120 gigs. Um, I think I'll stick with that. I don't need any, well, let me see, RAID 0, extra performance. Uh, I'll go with this one. Just the one on top. And yeah, like I said, and you, they've got coupons so you can get 5% uh, percent off. Actually, that thing that I showed you, that little box for that water cooling, actually, that may be what this thing has. I'm not sure because I haven't actually looked inside of it. Um, because I've never had to go inside of it. But, well, actually, I have been inside of it and I didn't see anything like that. Um, cause that's right, cause that was when, um, the motherboard failed on me and I was looking inside to determine what the problem was. So, okay, looks good. Two terabyte hard drive with data security. Um, let's go with that. Oh, that's two terabytes. Um, Western Digital. Um, 10,000 RPM. Mm, not sure if I need the extra RPM. I believe that just makes it run faster. Um, I think I'm, well, I, I, yeah, I can always buy another hard drive later if I needed to. I'll just stick with the original uh, SATA 3, so... Okay, the 120 gig solid state, that was back on the first drive slot. Um, hard drive cooling, I don't need external hard drive. Um, USB flash drive, I don't need. Uh, it's got a free upgrade to the internal Blu-ray thingy. Okay. External hard drive, I don't need one. OK, 
Okay, USB flash drive, I don't need one. Um, sound. Go with that. Uh, okay, I don't need the Nineveh three D vision glasses. Uh, let me see, where was that? Huh, and this is a three D monitor. Huh, looks really cool. Um. Integrated speakers, which is also good. Um, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back to that. What did it say? Okay. Full panel HD. Uh, or Asus. Oh, and you get a bundle with the Asus. Ooh, I like that one. Ah, uh, but I don't... Let's see. Dual link DV DVID. Um... I'm pretty sure that the one on the back, well, I can't, won't even, well, let me see the back. Yeah, see, here's all the peripherals. You got USB 3.0 ports and stuff. Um, and I believe, wait, didn't the, wait, let me, let me check the GTX 90 again, just so I can look at the, um, Inputs. I just want to verify uh, verify something right quick. Yeah, this is how fast my uh, my browser loads. Cause I just wanted to verify the inputs. Yeah, as you saw, it had no HDMI slot. Um. DVI, Wikipedia, okay, let's see, DVI-D, and yeah, I can't see your comments, guys, so if you're commenting something to me, I'm not going to see it. Okay. Um, I said it was a DVI-D, so it's either a single link or a dual link. I would assume it has both. Okay, so looks like it has... Two DVI D dual links. So I assume the connector would work. Um, yeah, there you go. You see, it has a uh, a DVI. Looks like a DVI dash I dual link, um, and a DVI D. In which case, it did say that it was a DVI D which it does have. Uh, it looks like these two are the same right here. So that would be um, the DVI. The DVI-D, let me just check again. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm sort of confused. Oh, wait, oh, okay, I think it's mirrored. That's why. Okay, so the DVI... I dash D is okay. Well, I mean, it should work anyway. I mean, it says dual link DVI dash D. But then again, um, I like the integrated speakers, which would be on this one, this View Sonic. So I'll go with this one, the ViewSonic. 
Um, wait, what are the inputs on this? Let me just double check. DVDI dash D and HDMI. So it's also got a DVDI uh, dash D inputs, which would be dish. Oh crap, that's a single link. I think. Maybe it has two different ones. Uh, would you guys know if it would or not? I mean, does monitors that like have the DVD, DVI dash D, does it have like both of them or just one? Because it's been a long time since I had like a, a regular computer monitor. So. Because you look at the connector ports on the GTX 690 and then you look at the. It's just really uh, difficult, guys. Yeah, for those monitors that have that, um, you know, I mean, what do you guys, like, you know, really, it's it's bad that they don't show the back of the monitor so that you can actually know, like, you know, Ultimate XX Killer 556 is love how I joined your live stream randomly. Just waiting for some more comments to fall. How long have I been streaming? Two hours? Feels like it's been more than that. Just one, and that's the bad thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I could be very much closer to buying what I'm going to be buying. It's just a matter of... It's got an analog D-sub, but this one has a DVI slash HDMI. Um, it's bad that they don't show, as I said, the back of the input. Unless this one has uh, more screenshots. Okay, here's the... Uh, can I get an enlarged view? Let me... Oh, crap. Are you serious? I don't know. I don't think I can zoom in. Yeah, it's going to look really fuzzy. I can't tell. Stop. Uh, man, why don't they provide bigger screenshots? Let me see if I can actually look this thing up on Google. Google Images, get a bit uh, bigger image. I want a bigger image. Yeah, like I said, it helps to know, you know, what's on the back. Okay. So, okay, it looks like it's got a little slash right there. Okay. Okay. Let me just go back to... Six ninety. Okay, so I just wanted to verify. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it's got a s looks like it's got a slant in it. Um, can't fully tell. Right in here, it is very difficult to tell if it, that's a little slant or if that's four holes. I think that's a slant. So, it, and it's helpful to know these things, guys. Because you don't want to get a monitor and then find out you can't hook it up to the peripherals. So, I th so I think that'll work, all right. Back to uh, Zeus Thunder Max. All right, second monitor, none. Third monitor, none. Um, if it's got integrated speakers, I don't need any speakers. So, no. Uh, network, uh, Intel Pro Gigabytes. Uh, keyboard. Um, I liked that other one that was the StarCraft 2 keyboard. Um, the mouse, I like the mouse. Um, the Cyborg Rats, I think, are really weird looking. Look at this. Isn't that a weird looking mouse? I mean, what? I don't, I, what is that? I don't even... I guess it like it so somewhat resembles a rat, I guess. Hmm, 
I like that one. I like the light up stuff. That'd go perfect with the keyboard. Not sure which one I like better. This one that comes with it that's a free. Eh. Um. Oh, it uses cell batteries? Well, that's no good. I don't like ones that use cell batteries. I think I'll go with this one. All right, mouse pad, um, alpha mouse pad. Eh, kind of don't like that one. Um, the spiller dual sided mouse pad. All right, I think I'll go with this one. Well, yeah, the dual sided. Gaming mouse pad, okay. Gaming gear, I don't need any. External thermo display, I don't need one. Uh, wireless card. Um, well, I mean, I can usually just run it directly in, so let's go with... Uh... Oh, wait, that's a wireless B slash G card. The one I got up here... Okay, that's for the... Um, the... Ex the the direct connection to the ethernet so this would be um hmm i'll go with this one remember like i said i'm gonna get a discount at the end of this so this is not the final price by any means external wireless network card i don't need one um access point i've already got a router as i stated before uh bluetooth uh, i'll get it just in case i don't think i need it but I'll just get the adapter. Uh, flash media. Internal. I'd rather have an internal one. Uh, I guess I'll go with the black color. Um, video. Well. Let's go with the black. Okay, video camera I don't need. Uh, headset I don't need either. Cable I don't need either. Power protection. Um, I can just easily get a another surge protector later on. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm not 100% sure on what this is, so, now keep in mind, guys, that if, if, if this transaction can't work with CyberPower, because like I said, um, they don't accept e-checks, so, you know, like I said, so if this doesn't work out, I might get the Alienware one, so this one is not final by any means, a uh, pair of six conductor, um, fireware, I'm, uh, I don't think I really need that. I'll get it anyway, but I don't think I need it. Well. Uh, no, I'm not going to get it, actually. Uh, internal USB 3.0 port hub. Well, as long as it's got a bunch of ports, I don't think I honestly need more. Um, there was, like, according to what, the back of this, like, four? Yeah. I'll get the internal one just in case. Uh, no USB ports. Um, get the ultimate. And actually, yeah, you see how, how much it's getting up to now. Um, let's see. Ultra enhanced packing solution to keep things safe. Professional wiring. Ready to ship in three business days. Add to cart. So as you see, that's what it's going to come to. And then, of course, remember the shipping method um north carolina method ups ground um and then let me see let me yeah and you can easily google search coupons i think there was a yeah five percent off discount code spring zero four one zero and of course, the more you're, you have, then the more you're going to save. So that's how much I would ultimately be paying after the discounts. Well, oh, wait, is that... Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, so... Um, wow, um, let me just go back, edit. 
See, Alienware, I'd come up uh, a little bit less expensive. Let me see if I can take out things I don't need. And also weigh your inputs, guys. Uh, I don't want to feel like I'm leaving you guys out of it. And I see people are talking about Victini and beating Mew and this and that. Um, let me see. The motherboard is the Rampage Extreme. Um, of course, our memory. Uh, I could take out the SSDs. I don't really need them. That'd be like uh, 128 additional dollars in my pocket. So let's, let's see. Wait, that's drive two, right? I think that's drive two. Oh wait, that's the second drive. Okay, so where is the none button on this one? Okay, one ter. Oh, well, let me see. Uh, two terabytes. I'll go with this one. And then I will get rid of the SSD. Oh, okay. None. I can just settle with two terabytes. I don't really need SSDs. I mean, yeah, it's faster, but like I said, I think I'm pretty good, you know, what I've, what I've got. All right, and I think we're good. Just check one last thing, guys. Yeah, like I said, that's what I like about, you know, like this company, like you can uh, easily check and see what you can uh, do. You have plenty of options available, plus the 5% discount that also helps as well. Show... Okay, add two cards. All right, so let's get rid of this first one here. All right, so UPS ground, okay, much better. All right, you guys, so it looks like this computer, as long as the transaction goes through, is what I'm going to be getting. So, yes. Guys, I think we have finally done it after all of this thinking. Um, where was that $8,000 PC, so Solar Nexus 47? Uh, type in Digital Storm in the search, uh, like Digital Storm Computers. Click on that link, um, and then like um, click on the Black Ops thing, the select, and then go to the, the one on the far left, go to select, and then you see one that says Ultimate. Click that, and then you'll see that $8,500 computer. So... Um, like I said, because I have to use my debit card because they don't accept PayPal and they don't accept e-checks either. So if this does not go through, I'm going to have either two options. One, I'll have to send it to my aunt's bank account and do the transaction from there, which would take longer because I'd have to wait three to five business days to transfer to her PayPal or her bank account. I mean, or I would have to call PayPal and see if they can temporarily lift the $3,000 limit on my PayPal uh, or on the card, I should say, and then if it goes, and that discount helped. That discount will save me. Um, let me go back here. It will save me. Where was it? Uh, it will save me two hundred and forty-three two hundred forty-three hundred ninety-five dollars. So keep in mind, guys, that if you plan on getting a CyberPower PC and it's over $1,000, use that code, SPRING0410. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but um, um, it's got a 90% success rate. Well, seems to work every time I use it, but like I said, it helps save a little extra. Um, X Master Game Freak, it's not a laptop. So let me go ahead and call. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and. Okay. Uh, okay. Somehow I want to double check just to make sure. I'm, I'm just going to double check one more time just to make sure I've got everything fine. Because especially if it's selected as overclocking, 
then uh, you look at, you know, you got to select components that are overclocking material, which usually it's selected for you. But like I said, you can select anything you want. Um, okay, and the only odd upgrade, extra fan, and just double checking. Um, I don't know. The default case fans, I'm not sure about what the custom case fans are. I'll go with this a little bit extra just to help keep it quieter. It's only an extra, like, 20 bucks. Okay, ultimate overclocking. Okay, cyber. All right, Asus, motherboard. Freebies. Exclusive Bluetooth. Oh, okay. Uh, memory, okay, uh, Corsair of Engines. That's way, that's way, it's what, mm, okay, 1600 meg, that's 2 gig, 8. Oh, wait, that's 16 gigs, oh, wait, that's DDR3. Um, wow, that's 16 gigs, 8 gigs and 2 sticks. Um, I'm not sure which is better, or unless they're, like, all the same. Uh, 2, two gigs per 8 sticks, equaling 16 gigs of memory. Uh, what do you guys feel about that? Oh, can't see me? That's because my thing turned. <clears throat> I know some about the memory sticks, but I'm not sure in terms of what would be better. Less memory and or more memory in less sticks, or more memory in more sticks. Or unless it makes no difference. I just want to make sure, see what uh, some of you guys that may be more tech savvy. Flyboy Slayer says hero. Waiting for some of the comments to fall again. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up just in case again. Uh, which one do you think is better? Um, well, it says 16 gig, well, okay, it says 4 gigs, I actually misread that some, oh, okay, hang on, I, let me see, oh, okay, I see, that's if you did the one up above it, the back to school thingy, even though I'm not going back to school, but, uh, yeah, okay, I see, 16 gigs, 4, okay, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so Nidava G4 GTX 690, and you can get a grasp of the price difference if I went lower, but I'd rather go with Nidava, so... Okay, AMD Radeon HD 7970. Yeah, like you see, it would be minus 540, but I'll stick with what I got. Uh, freebies, free AMD 3. Okay, that's if you purchase those video cards. Um, okay, second video card, none. Third video card, none. Power supply, 1000. Pro, 2 terabytes, hard drive. Don't need the SSDs. Hard drive cooling fan. I don't need one. Don't need an external. Uh, USB flash drive. Optical drive. Okay, that's fine. Uh, optical drive 2. Don't need one. Um, honestly, I don't think I... I think I think I can go with the high definition. Yeah, minus 89. I'll just stick with the, uh, the high definition onboard 7.1 audio. Um... Okay, 3D vision glasses, don't need them, especially if the monitor already comes with them. Okay, the monitor display, second monitor, uh, third monitor, none, speakers, none, uh, network, Intel Pro Gigabyte, okay, keyboard, good, uh, mouse, good, uh, mouse, good, mouse pad, good, gaming gear, none, I don't need any, uh, extra thermal display, um, I don't need one of those. I mean, that could be quite helpful, you know, to monitor the temperatures, but, you know, they've also got one that you can monitor with on your computer. You just download and install, if unless it already has one in it, or uh, installed on it, and you can tell from there. 
Okay, wireless, um, external wireless, don't need one. <sighs> More or less BG and access point, uh, don't need one of those because like I said, I've already got a router. Uh, Bluetooth, uh, 19 in, or 12 in one flash media reader. Um, I'm assuming that also reads SDs. It uh, doesn't give a description. But I'm assuming it has... Uh, Yeah, video camera, okay, none, headset, none, uh, cable, none. Um, I think it'll be good if I ever need to get one of those. I will keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure what this IEEE, I'm not sure what that is. Like, I don't, I'm not, I forget what its purpose is. Oh, uh, here's a Yahoo answer for you. Truffalo did. Ah, okay. All right, then I don't need it. I don't need it. So none. Uh, internal USB 3.0 4-point hub. Uh, US port. I don't need because, well, it's already got some. Um, it's got a whole bunch of them. Okay, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. None. Uh, games, None. Ultra care option. And I th think we are good. So add to cart. All right, which one was it? I believe it was this one up here. Uh, yeah, the one that was... Let me just go back for a sec. Yeah. Okay, it was the one that was wait, was it 48-7? Okay, I'm I'm getting I'm getting confused. Oh, okay, there we go. I did, as soon as I saw high definition on board, okay, I knew the first one. Okay. So there we go, guys. I think that does it then. Let me just go ahead and update the card. So actually, let me see USB ground. Okay. Tiny bit less. But now I just gotta see if this is gonna work out. So let me go ahead and check out. Uh, UPS ground $125 and the reason why it costs that much is because they are heavy items and so the heavier they are the more it costs so UPS ground um, which is like I think I think mm, um, let me check I think it's two to four UPS ground <clears throat> Well, and it can also vary since it's probably going to be shipped all the way from California. It's probably going to take some time because that's where they're located in is California. Shipments one to five business days. Okay. All right. Wait, what, wait, what was that? Okay, delivery commitment. All right. Um... Okay, so let me go back here. Um, I'm just going to take this off for a sec. Okay, Lenore. Alrighty. Alright, a few shipping address. Alright, that's my ship too. Check this box, same as shipping info. Um, email. Okay, payment method. Bill me later. No, credit card. Well, it's a debit card. Um, like I said, I've got to, like I said, I got to make sure this is even going to go through. So let me go ahead and just call PayPal and verify this. Because like I said, there's a $3,000 limit, spending limit. 
and I gotta make sure that this is even gonna go through. My mic's probably gonna be muted though while I'm on the phone, so. We will see if this works out, guys. Okay, um, I need contact. <clears throat> Alright, uh, call us. Alright, guys, I'm going to put myself on mute, and I'm going to use the phone, so we will see um, what happens. Uh, I should probably also call uh, CyberPower as well, just to confirm that this is going to go through. Okay, so... Um, So, let, so I'll be right back, guys.
see you guys.
browser and log into your account at paypal.com. Then click profile at the top of the page. You'll see four sections. My personal info, my money, my settings, and my selling tools. Find the area you're looking for and select the item you want to add, edit, or update. You can update credit cards, expiration dates, phone numbers, and more. Just so you guys know... Uh, just so you guys know that basically they're uh, currently trying to temporarily lift the limits on my debit card with PayPal, so he said it'd be a few more minutes. And then even if they can lift it, like I said, then it's just a matter of whether or not it'll go through with CyberPower.
All right, you guys, it is done. We have done it. Woohoo! So, sorry it took so long. Yeah, he just wanted to make sure everything was verified and stuff. You know, put a temporary temporary lift or uh, yeah, or raise the lift a little bit on the computer. So. Oh yes, this is going to be epic, because guys, as soon as I get this thing, you guys are going to be seeing, you're going to be seeing my, my, um, my videos output so much faster. So, yes, I am very excited, guys. And, uh, now, I've heard some people that ordered from CyberPower, like, that really, they, they took long, they delayed things, um, don't order the rush service. Um, so like I said, it's where I'm not out of the woods yet. They have to deliver on time, and that's the thing. Um, the coupon definitely helped me save quite a bit, uh, an extra couple hundred bucks. Actually, let me go back to this thing. Uh, let me take this off. Actually, I know you guys have probably already seen that, and I'm like, whoops. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be moving soon anyway, so it doesn't affect me. Um, okay, where is, where is the, oh, there it is, um, let me just ch check, uh, just double check everything, uh, I, let me see, oh, um, go to our order status page, I needed to check one thing right quick, I think they sent it to my email, so let me check. A Zeus Thunder Max. Ah, oh, new product alert from HP. I don't care. Oh, goody. Another crappy laptop. Or whatever. All-in-one desktop thingy-ma-bob. Okay, PlayAsia. Cyber Power Lester. Okay. Alright, thank you for your order. Okay, just double checking. <clears throat> um, and I will be linking in the description, like before I get ready to end this stream, I'm gonna link the the exact thing that I purchased uh, for your record. Um, please check. Okay, order number. Okay, where is it? Oh, there you are. Give a zip code. <clears throat> Sorry, we can't find your order. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, okay. It may take up to 48 hours from the time you placed your order to be posted. I uh, see. What I'm trying to figure out is when it will get here. Um, I selected three business days, so that would give it a little time, but, um, yeah, guys, it is ordered. Your order will be shipped the next day after the production is complete, which hopefully it will not take that long. Um, I mean, well, it said it would ship, you know, like depending on the shipping methods that you choose, but like I said, you know, it all depends upon how quickly that they get it put together and stuff, and hopefully it'll get put together really fast and I am going to unbox it as soon as I get it guys this thing is going to be a killing beast of a machine so uh yes I am very happy guys um so yeah guys we have done it let me just put this thingy back here so uh, wait let me all right you guys so yeah it is done Mr. Cool Guy, 7,000 tenses as you rock, bro. I'm crying, man. Yep. Woohoo. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, like I said, as soon as I get it, I am going to be unboxing it. Um, I'm, I'd st I'm not planning on uploading any more videos, like, in between now and, uh, or from the time I end this stream to, like, whenever I get the computer, just because, um, for the person that bought this computer, which I won't be doing that until actually I get ready to ship the, the PC out, um, make a video of it and everything, you know, like autographing the side of it because he wants it autographed. 
So, um, so yeah, so then as soon as I get it, I will be unboxing it, and you guys are going to get a whole bunch of videos quickly. So, um, yeah, guys, I will be linking it in the description below uh, when I get ready to end this video if you guys want to check it out for yourself. And also, if you plan on buying a computer from CyberPower PC, take note of the coupon code I used, SPRING0410. Um, that'll save you 5% on your entire order. Um, so, yeah. That's a really helpful thing that you can save some money. And, uh, because I saved like $250 in my case or so. So, yeah, um, quite a, quite a big thing. Uh, Dearful Wish, so they imaged you as like a 14 year old. Haha. <laughs> well, I look young. I look young, even though I'm 24 years old, but I look a lot younger. And that's how it's always been with me since I was a little baby and then grew up. I've always had that young look to me. So guys, it is done. We are going to now be playing the waiting game. And um, hopefully they won't delay because like I said, I have seen some people that have kind of had a few bad experiences with them. Like they made the purchase and then it's like, oh, delays happen, this and that. Hopefully, and other people said, oh, it was on time. You know, it, they got it done really quickly and sent out. So hopefully this is not one of those delayed situations because it typically depends on if they get the hands on certain components and things like that. So, um, so yeah, guys, um, how much does it cost? Omar805100 says, ultimately, uh, after the savings, there was no tax, which is surprising. I don't understand why CyberPower doesn't charge tax, but Alienware does. Um, pretty much, I paid roughly about the same amount, about $4,800, as if I... If, is if I would have paid for an Alienware. If I'd have paid for an Alienware Aurora R4, it would have come up to about $4,500, but then after tax, um, because Dell does charge for tax, then it would come up to like $4,800. So I'm effectively paying the same amount of money for the CyberPower PC as I would if I would have bought that Alienware Aurora R4. So, yeah guys, it's done. That's all I can say. Now it's just a matter of playing the waiting game. Um, since I chose three business days, then that means, let me see here, it puts, well, I don't know if they'll ship on Saturday. Like I said, it's gonna, we'll see, uh, UPS ground is one to five business days, but I'm pretty sure it won't be one, because, uh, it's going, it's gonna be shipping all the way from California, and that's, like, all the way on the west side of where I am, so, um... You know, because I'm, like, here all the way on the east, and they're all the way on the west, so it'll probably take, like, three to five. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if it takes five. But it should be between probably the 22nd, 23rd, maybe 24th. We'll see. Um, so it could be sometime next week, guys. But I'll definitely keep you updated. Check my bulletins or your, your homepage for bulletin updates or, or follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter. I'll also be uh, giving you guys updates from there. And, uh... Yeah, so that's all I can say. So if you guys want to keep a track of, you know, how the computer's progressing, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Click show more, the button right there. And, uh, yeah, just uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I will give you guys constant updates as they become available. And as soon as I get it, unboxing it, and you guys are going to get a whole horde of videos quickly, but especially Pokemon Y2 because I have got to make that my highest priority for the series. And, uh... So yeah, guys, so I guess that's it. Sorry if this was so lengthy for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that, that just joined, maybe, that wanted to hear about my update, um, I also said it at the beginning of the video, but I'll just go ahead and briefly say it here. Um, the HP laptop that I bought last month, it was brand new. It was one of those ready-to-ship laptops and it had really good specs on it. Um, I bought it, and I got it, and it had an audio defect in the headphone audio jack. I mean, the speakers worked fine, but when plugging in headphones um, into the jack, it's like you put them on and it's just sometimes the audio will boost for no reason at all. And you can have the audio as low as it can be. Like it can be at two or three and it just starts boosting. It's like, ah. And so I called them up and they tried doing everything from upgrading the BIOS to uh, upgrading the audio drivers, that didn't help, so it was led to be a defect and I sent it back and I just said, I'm just going to take a refund. So, got the refund, and that also helped contribute toward this purchase. And yeah, guys, so, it's done. Uh, Blazing Feet 132 says, please do a game one. Um, I will be doing a game, like I said, soon. I'm, I'm, I've really been enjoying my break. I've been, you know, talking with my girlfriend a lot, you know, on Skype and stuff. And I've, I've really been uh, 
you know, I've really been, I've really just been, you know, getting, getting myself back, back in gear. I've been, you know, playing some of my video games on my PlayStation 3, you know, just to give myself some breathing room to be able to focus, concentrate, you know, and get ready to come back because I've been slacking off on videos lately and I am not a slacker. I have got to change that. So, Zelda Newbie 2012 says three hours of you saying the same thing over and over. Not really. Um, as for some new people that just came in here that, I don't know, I guess would rather me say it now than play back the stream. Because the stream is like, let me see, almost three hours. So, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this live stream. Oh, and if you could, uh, click like on this stream if you enjoyed. It really, really helps a lot. So, yeah, guys, I'm... Grateful you guys tuned in tuned in to see me purchase this computer and I cannot wait to see what this thing what this beast can do. Again, it's a Zeus Thunder Max. Then again, I will place the link in the description as soon as I end this stream. So thank you all so much for watching. And um I guess until next time guys, I'm Zephyr Sonic. Thank you so much for watching. And I will probably probably be making uh well the unboxing sometime next week, but I will keep you guys informed on my Facebook and Twitter. Uh, these status updates of what's going on. And so, until then, guys, adios. Goodbye, people. Goodbye, my epic friends, my epic people, epic fans. And I'm just saying more things now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.